Hi, I'm Laura Nickerson, here to give you the buzz on local news and events. Well, my friends, the Beatles and I are all here, ready to have a great time at the Calabasas Malibu Food and Wine Festival. And this is a great event helping out a great cause, Rock Against Trafficking. So let's take a look around and I'll fill you in on the buzz. The 4th of July is coming, and the city of Calabasas has so many great activities happening that day. There's the Lakeside Fun Run, the Pet Show, the Splash Party at the Calabasas Tennis and Swim Center, and of course, the Fireworks Spectacular at the Calabasas High School. Have you gotten your tickets yet? Visit imathlete.com to sign up for the Fun Run, and you can head over to City Hall, Danza Park, or the Calabasas Tennis and Swim Center to get your tickets for the rest of the events. All the info is at the city's website, cityofcalabasas.com. You must get your tickets in advance, so make it a priority. It's a great time to go out and celebrate with the whole community. It's the 4th of July, people, or as my kids would say, may the 4th be with you. Tuesday is July 1st, and that means it's the first Tuesday of July, which equals a Lego build at the Westfield Promenade Topanga. Now, this is a free build of a beach van for your kids age 6 to 14 that they get to take home for free. Starts at 5 o'clock at the Lego store, and you might want to get there a little bit early because, well, it can get a little brutal. See these teeth right here? They're all fake. You know why? Last month's Lego build. I'm here with the co-founders of Rock Against Trafficking who are being benefited by the proceeds here tonight. So can you tell us what is the purpose of Rock Against Trafficking? Well, we're a charity established to create a music project, a series of music projects to raise resources and awareness to fight the travesty of human trafficking and slavery around the world. And what are you hoping to achieve here tonight? Just make people aware of the, the epidemic that's run on the, on the regard of this situation. Well, it's a great cause and we're really happy to have you here. Thank you. And in local news, the Calabasas City Council recently voted to include e-cigarettes in the city's ban against secondhand smoking. Now, the reasoning behind this is that they wanted to find out what the long-term health effects of the vapors released by e-cigarettes are, which are currently unknown. Now it's time for the Calabasas Sports Blast with Rohit Ghosh. Rohit? Thanks, Laura. I'm here with my right half, and we're going to deliver you the Sports Blast. What's up? It's big news out of Calabasas High School. Have you heard about it? Calabasas High School boys volleyball hitter Scott Poppin, he just signed a scholarship to play volleyball at Robert Morris University over in Illinois. It was actually Corey Chandler, the volleyball coach and athletic director at Calabasas, who made it his mission to keep Poppin focused throughout high school. Now the six foot eight phenom, yeah, all six foot eight of them, he's living his dream. Best of luck, Scott. Wow, good job, Scott. Actually, both Viewpoint and Calabasas took part in the 19th annual boys basketball war on the floor tournament two weekends ago. Did you go and watch it? I couldn't either, but both teams lost in the quarterfinals and Notre Dame defeated Dorsey High 55 to 52 to win the tournament. And here's your summer fitness tip of the week. If you enjoy running outside during the day, and I know you do, try to wear lighter colors. The lighter colors help with the reflection of the heat. If you wear darker colors, you're gonna absorb all that heat. Hey, you gotta stay cool any way possible especially if you're working out between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. And that's it for this week's Force Blast. With CTV, I'm Rohit Ghosh. Back to you, Laura. Thanks, Rohit. And good news for local businesses. Come late September, the city of Calabasas will no longer require them to have a business license issued by the Los Angeles County. The savings to those businesses annually is estimated to be about $21,000. And that's our local news. If you haven't had a chance to take your children over to the Getty Villa and expose them to some artwork, well, there's a great opportunity for you this Saturday, July 5th at 11.45 a.m. The Art Walk will take your children five and up on a 30-minute tour of the galleries. Now, it's free, but you do need to get your time tickets by visiting getty.edu and be prepared to pay about 15 bucks for parking. But otherwise, you're good to go. Now it's time for the dramatic pause. You know I cannot help myself but to introduce Jay White's upcoming concert with the song. Sweet Caroline, ba ba ba. <laughs> Thursday, July 3rd, head over to the Performing Arts Education Center in Calabasas to hear the exceptional Jay White as he performs the music of Neil Diamond. Tickets are available at thepaecs.org. Sweet Caroline, ba ba ba. Well, this is a great event benefiting Rock Against Trafficking, and you can visit their website, rockagainsttrafficking.org, for more information on them. Hey, make sure you follow us on Twitter at Buzz Calabasas. You can also catch me at Knickerburger. I'll be back next week with more of The Buzz.